Turning to the weather now. <laughs> this is another one of those days, Aaron. We've got a lot to talk about. This extreme heat, really dangerous, and we might see some storms too later today. Parts of North Texas could see some storms, I think, tonight and into tomorrow morning. We mentioned it last night, and now it's looking a little more likely. There are a few things we have to keep an eye on, though. So we'll talk about that here in a second. I do want to talk about this heat, though. Temperature wise, it doesn't look too bad. Mid 80s to the low 90s currently, but we've already got a lot of spots feeling like we're in the triple digits. Dallas, Love Field at 101, Fort Worth at 104, along with Denton. We've got 105 right now in Hillsborough and Palestine. Graham feels like 105, Breckenridge 103. And this afternoon, we're forecasting a high of 97. So we're already starting to see this ridge of high pressure shifting a little bit to the west to southwest, breaking down its hold on us a little bit. That means the temperatures take a little bit of a dip, and it's part of the reason why we're not expecting the triple digits from Bonham to Paris to Sulphur Springs. We still have a lot of spots, though, that are going to be feeling dangerously warm this afternoon. Anywhere from 105 to 115 degrees for the feels like temperatures later today. But you notice tomorrow, uh, we're actually looking at feels like temperatures a little bit more comparable to where we're forecasting in the mid and upper 90s. You even see some spots feeling like the 80s. We may have a little bit more cloud cover tomorrow, lingering behind some showers and storms from the morning. So this is why the National Weather Service not expecting to extend the heat alerts into Thursday. They should expire tonight at 8 p.m., but we still have this excessive heat warning for the Metroplex, our western counties, our counties south of I-20. You've got a heat advisory for our Red River counties and some of our eastern counties as well. So besides the heat, we have to talk about the threat for some stronger storms. You see this level two slight risk. It's been shifted a little farther south and east. I was expecting this. We have a little bit of Tarrant County highlighted in this. Uh, parts of Johnson County, Hill County. Uh, you see Wise County to Montague County and then areas farther to the west. We're expecting storms in West Texas and Oklahoma to kind of shift south and east overnight. So I don't think we see much this afternoon. Really, through about 9, 10 o'clock, we're not seeing much, but it's those storms to the north and west as we make our way into the overnight hours. So here's 2 a.m., and you can see Parker County certainly seeing its activity, western Tarrant County, some of Johnson County. We may have some rain moving east of 35, but it looks like the worst of the storms will be to the west and then eventually into central Texas overnight. So we have the rain chances currently at 30% for overnight. We may have to up them tonight. So you want to tune in at 4, 5, and 6. We'll have the latest forecast guidance from the latest model data. Isolated storms tomorrow. 30% coverage tomorrow night and into Friday as well. Once we get to the weekend, it's back to sunshine, 90s and low 100s, Karen. All right, Erin, thank you.